Welcome back guys. Yes, it's been five to six months. That's a long time. I realize that. I'm very sorry, but I have an explanation for it all. I need to talk well a lot and yeah, I want to do my makeup while I do that. When I talk about what happened during the summer, we're going to talk about everything that I have not been talking about because, you know, school's been on my ass about everything. Um, yeah, so let's get started. That's my Christmas tree. <laughs> so I left off by going to El Paso for the summer. And uh, El Paso is where I moved to Vegas from. So I went to go see all my friends. I stayed with my brother's girlfriend, or my brother's fiance actually. They got engaged. So I stood with her. I saw a lot of my friends. Um, I went through some stuff there, not gonna lie. Just because uh, you lose a lot of friendships that you don't realize you've lost until you actually go back and you're like, damn, what happened? What did, what got lost through this all? But it just made me, as cheesy as it sounds, it made me stronger. I went to my first ever party in there, but it was just like my friends and they threw it at this place and we just chilled and we danced and I met some new people and then I left. So yeah, that happened and then came back and started my junior year. A really hard pre-cal class and it's been a struggle with that class only. It's pre-cal, so I mean, I'm not expecting it to be easy, but expected it to be a little more easy than what it is. I made a lot of new friends. I made one of my best friends. She doesn't can watch my YouTube channel. One of my best friends, Karina. She's literally me in a nutshell. Um, she's from Chicago. I'm from Chicago. <laughs> she plays soccer. I play soccer. It's literally we met through my friend Xander. I met her at the start of last year, but we never really talked because girls. No, she just never showed up to class. Or she did, she showed up really late, so I'd never see her. And we only had PE together. I went out this one time. I had a really, uh, I had freshman friends my sophomore year because I didn't have any friends in general when I first moved here. So I went out with my friend Dana. I'd got my license. So I went out with my friend Dana and Amanda. And I was like, hey guys, like, let's go eat somewhere. Cause I'm, I was hungry after school one day. So we were like trying to go eat and then like a bunch of random people were like, oh my god, let's go But I guess Amanda and Dana were friends with them So I met all them and there's this big big clique of people big big clique of people and I met some of them when we went out to eat that day And they were really nice and really welcoming um, Although if it wasn't for my car, I probably would have never even became friends with them, but I guess you gotta start somewhere, you gotta, I guess, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I became friends with them and then it kind of just grew from there and it became me becoming friends with all of them and literally the best people I've probably met in Vegas. Um, I met these two people named Elijah and JT, the best, the funniest people I've ever met in my life. I love them so much. Last night I actually went to Elijah's surprise party for his birthday, JT through, and I met Elijah through my friend Olivia. There's so many people I'm naming right now, so if you're watching this, hi. <laughs> but I met Elijah through my friend Olivia, and Olivia, I met her last year because she was new to school and I was new to school and I was like, bet let's be friends. So like I met him through her and then yeah. Um, I became close with them and now I'm like close with the entire group and I love them all and they're probably the funniest, most welcoming, I don't know what's on my finger, ignore that. I think I mentioned a crush my last thing. That crush is no longer my crush, obviously it's how long later. Can't even remember who that crush was. So, but I'm sure he was great. There was this guy who I really liked. <laughs> I promised myself from the start that I would not fall for him. And what happened? The girl fell for him. Hard. Um, he played the fuck out of me. But what's to expect? Can't expect nothing more from a fuckboy than to play you. Don't get your hopes up. It's not Troy and Gabriella. You're not going to change him. It's not, it's not a love story. You're not going to be able to change him. So, if you're looking for a sign and you're chasing after a fuckboy, don't. Moved on from that because 
um, I deserve better. I go to like friends uh, little parties a lot more now. I feel like honestly that's what helped me a lot to make friends is going out. Like obviously. I forgot when the first time I went out but I think it was with Karina and met people through Karina. But yeah i'm living life now i'm oh, i wouldn't say happier i don't know honestly i'm all over the place i had this moment for a while where i fell into like this deep pit of sadness because i was just so covered with school and so um just like drowning in school because it wasn't it was not easy at all so it's just like a big mess I had A's and B's except in pre to see like, oh, I take painting. My group is really cool. At first, like, we were hella quiet. We're the only quiet group in painting because everyone else just, like, is so loud. Not that we don't like, like, talking. It's just, like, we're more, I don't know. We do, like, our own thing, but they're so cool. I have criminal justice. Criminal justice is probably the hardest class. It's not even that the work is hard. It's just, like, it's so much work that it's hard. My English and my pre-cal teacher are two of the best teachers ever. Um, I've always had this like feeling and need to be a teacher when I grew up just because being a military child, grew up going to 11 different schools. I saw what kids went through, I saw what I went through, I saw what like a lot of people went through and a lot of teachers don't really care for their students. I've had teachers here and there who have just made me feel better about life and just they they're there for their kids and they care for their kids and like that's how i want to be because i feel like a lot of kids don't have that and a lot of kids go home to like lives that they don't want to talk about so kids just need that more in their life in a way so i've always had this need to be there and help kids and help them want to learn and help them want to succeed in life and get to where they want to be and do all that so i think i'm gonna go to college to be a teacher and i know like i've gotten told so much that you can't go in looking for money and all that and that's not what i'm going in for i'm going in to like help people and help kids and help parents understand and not to be how I was, where I was depressed and had anxiety all the time over tests and all this stuff. Like, I want kids to grow and not be afraid to grow and meet new people and not be afraid to meet new people and do all that. Um, so that's what I'm going in for. And I'm actually really excited because I think I've decided I'm going to go to college for that for sure. Because I wanted to be a lawyer. But when I went into criminal justice, I realized that a lot of it's like um not one-sided but a lot of it's like you don't know who you're helping you don't know who you're putting in a bad place you don't know who you don't know all that like you're kind of just fighting for who you're fighting for and you can't really take their side you can't know the truth to it all and let them go scot-free like you're not really helping in a way but yeah i think i'm gonna go to college to be a teacher it's so weird actually saying that because a lot of people don't know that um because a lawyer was my dream job for a long, 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 long time. So to actually be like, yeah, I decided I'm gonna be a teacher. It's like, wow. And then colleges are coming up. My teacher already wants me to start freaking touring. And I already have my top colleges, which is UNLV, UTEP, NMSU, and UNR are my very, very top ones. Also, uh. ASU we'll see because I also don't want to be too far from my family but then again my whole family spread out around the world because I have people in Chicago I have people in Missouri I have people in freaking El Paso I have people all over the place and then you know the older I get the more people join the army and you just gotta flourish on your own you know so my brother just joined the army that's another thing I'm like trying to get everything out because there's a lot I need to talk about my brother just joined the army, just graduated. I just went to his graduation like this past weekend and that was fun. So far my family, him, my cousin, my sister, my dad, all have been in the military. My mom was a police officer. Yeah, just trying to explore, trying to do more things, not be afraid to do things. Cause I was, I'm so tired of being afraid of trying new things, meeting new people and it's annoying. 
so I was talking to my friend last night in the car. We're driving. Vaughn, you're probably gonna watch this, but we're talking about how different guys are from girls and how different girls are from guys and heartbreaks and all that. Now, to the guys out there, if you're watching this, then you're watching this. If you're not, then no. if you even made it this far, fix. <laughs> but um, girls just want you to be honest. Girls just want you to be straight up. Literally, if you want a relationship, tell us. If you don't want a relationship, tell us. It's that easy. We're not going to get upset about it. We're going to get upset about it if you're dragging it on for months or weeks and not telling us what you want and then us catch feelings and then you'll be like, no, I'm just trying to fuck. That's when we get mad. But other than that, just be honest. It's not that hard. And tell girls what you want. I feel like just be honest with each other. Live life. Don't rush into anything. Love each other. Love friends and love family. Spend time with your family. I rarely get to see my family ever. So I wish I would have spent more time with them when I had the chance. So yeah, just spend time with your family. Stay off your phone. My family, I remember growing up. Me, my cousins, my aunts, my uncle, like all of us all having family get togethers and spending time with each other. We all live in Chicago together. And all having like family like things and being excited to grow up and do the same thing with my cousins and continue it. And now we're all spread out and we don't and we never see each other, so it kind of sucks. The Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson release killed, killed that. I've been a fan of Shane Dawson <laughs> probably since when I shouldn't have been. That's basically it. That's all I'm gonna talk about. If you guys wanna hear about anything else, comment, like, subscribe, um, follow my Instagram, DM me something. I'm gonna try to get back on this YouTube thing. It's currently Thanksgiving break, so I'm gonna try to film as much as I can over Thanksgiving break and get those all up and get back into it because I miss filming and I miss, I feel like filming really makes me happy and really makes me, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for, I don't know, even watching because I haven't posted in a long time and I miss it and yeah. And also I just wanna say if, you're feeling sad or you're going through some things just know that it's not the end of the world and know that you'll get through it and that's cheesy but it's true um thanks for watching comment like subscribe um yeah hippity hip hip out way out thank you guys <laughs>